Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the Python for Hackers series. In the previous video, we discussed some really important things about Python and high-level languages, which were very important to consider. If you have not watched that video yet, make sure to watch it before watching this one. In this video, we are going to install Python and an IDE for Python on both Linux and Windows. Let's start with the installation of Python in our Windows system. As discussed earlier, we require a Python interpreter to interpret our Python program. For installing that in your system, open up your web browser and search for Python. You will see the first website, click on it and go to the download section. Now as we have to install it for Windows, we will click on the following button and download the latest Python on our system. You can also find Python for other operating systems like Linux and Mac OS. The download won't take much time. After you download the Python file, just double-click on it to install it in your system. OK, now we have the installation dialog box. If you look down a bit, you will see two boxes. Check them and hit the Install Now button and Python will start getting installed on your system. Once you are done, open up your Windows Terminal or CMD, whatever you have, and just type PI and you can check that Python is successfully installed on your system. OK, now we are done with the Python installation. We also have a thing called pip, which helps us install different Python libraries, but we won't discuss this in this video. Now it's time to install an IDE for our Python. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which provides us an environment to write efficient Python programs. There are a lot of IDEs on the internet. You can install one of them, but personally, I would recommend using Visual Studio Code. It is developed by Microsoft Corporation. You can install it easily from your Microsoft Store for completely free if you are using Windows 10 or 11. Once you have successfully installed Visual Studio Code on your system, open it and move toward the Extensions section and search and download the Python extension from there. Before installation, make sure it is provided by Microsoft. This extension will allow you to run your Python program directly from Visual Studio Code so that you don't have to go anywhere else. If you don't want to install Visual Studio Code on your system, there is no need to. You can even write Python in Notepad and execute it using your terminal. Go search for Sublime Text Editor if you don't like these fancy IDEs. OK, we are done with the installation process in Windows. Now let's move on to Linux and install Python there. Open up your Linux system. If you are using Kali Linux or any other hacking operating system, Python might already be installed on your system. But in case it is not installed, you can install it with the following command in your Linux operating system. If you are in an Arch Linux-based distro, you can use Pacman to install it. Once done with Python installation, we have to install pip on our Linux system. For that, type the following command and pip will be installed on your system. Pip is used to install different libraries on your system. Now it's time to install an IDE for Python in our Kali Linux. If you're in Kali Linux, you can install Visual Studio Code by typing the following command in your Kali Linux. In case you don't want to install VS Code, you can install Sublime Text Editor. Open up your web browser and search for Sublime. Now open the first website and go to the download section for Linux. Just copy the command and paste it inside your terminal. After you're done, Type sudo apt update and then type sudo apt install sublime text to install sublime text editor. Sublime text editor allows syntax highlighting, which helps you write efficient Python code. OK, till now we are done with installing the stuff required to write efficient Python code in both Linux and Windows. In the next video, we will learn some basic Python syntax. That's all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's all for now. Until next time, happy hacking.